Now, from this video onwards, we'll start working with some database concepts. So here, I'm going to work with the MongoDB, which will be a document database. We are going to store the data in a document format, which is nothing but a JSON format, and we'll convert them into binary, and then the data would be stored. So we'll see it from the scratch, how to install that MongoDB and how you can start doing the basic operations. And then later, we'll see how we can introduce the Mongoose package in our ap Express applications so that you can start submitting the data from your Express apps. So let's find it practically how to do all these things now. To install MongoDB, as you can see, I am here in the official website of MongoDB, that is mongodb.com. Right here in the top, I am getting the download button. And as soon as I click there, I'll be in a page where I'll find the different options for downloading this MongoDB. As I'm working in the Windows machine, so I'm here, uh, you can choose your desired operating system and start downloading. So clicking on this, I will start downloading this MSI file. And as you can see, downloading is begin. I'll start it as soon as the downloading is done. Now let's execute this MSI file. And it's a very straightforward wizard. I said next, accept license agreement. Again, next, it's your wish. Either you want to customize the features or complete. I'll go for the complete here and let's click on install now. As you can see, the installation is begin now and it is done. So now I'm done with the installation of MongoDB. In order to execute this, let's see how we can do that. This is the location where you can find all the exe files which you can use while implementing the MongoDB. So I'll just copy this path. We'll come to the advanced system settings and here in environment variables. Right here in the system variables, you will find something called path. And here itself, I will add this particular path by, put, by putting a semicolon. Say OK. OK. And I'm done now. Now, let's come to the command prompt. And right here, you can type mongo. And you see, it is connected to the test, right? That means the installation is successful. Now, before getting connected with this database, first of all, I'll have to create a location where I want to put all my data. So here in the E drive, I have already created a folder called MongoDB where I want to put all my data files. So for doing so, I will write MongoD hyphen double hyphen DB path is equal to E drive MongoDB. And let's say enter. And now you can see all the files has been created. Server is in running mode on a port 27017. And now it is waiting for the connections. Let's open another command prompt, which will behave as the client. And here I will make a connection with this server. So for doing that, let's see, as you can see, see I have passed Mongo command here, and I'm connected to the test, the default database provided by the MongoDB server. In order to query the current database path, you can write DB and it will give you the database name like test. If you want to switch to another database or if you want to create a new database, then want to switch, use the use command. And here I'll say my DB, use my DB. Since right now I don't have any database with this name. So first of all, it will create a database and then it will switch to this particular database. So again, if I'll query DB, it will give me my DB. Now in order to create a new data here, I will have to write DB, that is the database. Now I'll have to create a collection. Let's say my collection name is tutorials. And in this tutorials, I want to insert a new document. That document will be a JSON data. So here inside, I want a couple of fields in my JSON data, that is topic. Let's say topic as MongoDB and another field as description. So let's execute this and you see one inserted. That simply means like one document has been inserted in this collection. 
Similarly, you can enter as many as documents as you want. As I entered one more record, Node.js, server-side JavaScript. So I have added a couple of documents in this collection, and this is how you can make an insertion directly from the Mongo environment. If you want to make a query, simply write db.collectionNames, that is tutorials in my case, and then find method. As soon as you will do that, you can see there is one field that is called ID has been added implicitly which contains a unique ID for each document. If you want to read it even more clearly, you can just add one pretty method right here and now it is more readable. So this is how you can do the things directly from the Mongo environment. Let's see how we can do it now from Node.js. For using Mongo's, first of all, I'll have to create a schema which will contain the structure of the document on which you want to work. That schema will contain the fields name, the data type, and the constraints, whichever you want to put it, and this app.js which will do all the connectivity things. So first of all, let's see what is there in the schema.js. As you can see here, I have used mongoose and assert. We have already used assert, but mongoose is new to this. So first of all, you'll have to install this mongoose package in your application. And right after that, you can see like I have created a schema using this schema property. And the name of the schema which I'm creating here is tutorial schema. You can put anything out here. And there are two things. First is topic and description. Both are of string type and both are required. For topic, I also put unique to true. You can also use this timestamp to true, which will add a couple of fields in your document that is created at and updated at. It will store the complete timestamp when this document is created and last updated. And once you have specified all the fields right here, you can export this particular module like this. As you can see here, mongoose.model in which I have first of all specified the collection name that is tutorials and second it's the schema name that is tutorial schema and after that I have exported this with the name tutorials and right here in this app.js I have used this tutorials module again along with that I have used mongoose and assert so like in the previous we have done in the mongodb the same connection string is being used connect method in order to get the connection and if there is any error while making the connection on error we are handling that Otherwise, if it is successfully open, we are giving a message like connected. Now, let's create a new collection. Now, let's create a new document here in which tutorials and then topic express.js and description express framework. These are the couple of things. And then it is saved. And whenever you will do the find option, it will again print all the data. So let's see how this output will look like. And now let's execute it from here like node app.js. All right, you will have to put this path in the double quotes or single quotes. So now let's execute this. And here you can see in the same collection mongodb node.js.net and the fourth is here express.js. So this is how you can establish a communication with the mongodb from node.js from mongoose module.